That was Anna right there and Tobias. Anyway, uh, this is a message to ASD level one husbands. Um, I'm going to have a little discussion with you regarding why your NT wife is so mad at you. Um, you are a social creature by nature. In other words, you have to have social contact, but uh, not nearly as much as your NT wife does. On a scale of one to 10, your social contact needs are about a two. Um, you get most of your emotional needs met, ironically enough, with uh, engaging in your special interest. I know that's technically not a, that's technically not social engagement, but when you're engaged in your special interest, that's of a non-social nature, you're still kind of getting your emotional needs met. On a scale of one to 10 with your NT wife, her social needs are a 10. And I say need as opposed to want because it's a need in the same way that uh, we would need water, food, shelter. It literally is a need. And if she doesn't get that need met, her social and emotional needs met, which largely she depends on you for that, um, she will get uh, physically sick, emotionally sick. Um, if you're an older individual, maybe in your 50s or 60s, and your NT wife now has uh, fibromyalgia and other uh, autoimmune disease, uh, that's what I'm talking about. Let's say, hypothetically, you're 60 years old, been married for 30 years, 35 years, and she has been on the receiving end of what she might call emotional deprivation all that time. And now she's sick and has all kinds of health issues. That's a perfect case example of what I'm referring to. So the purpose of this video is not to guilt trip you. And uh, you probably already feel enough guilt the way it is. So that's, I don't need to rub salt in the wound. But I do want you to make sense of this business of why she's so upset with you. She may be a chronic complainer. Uh, she may have uh, cajoled and negotiated and complained and gotten angry and, and tried to fix you for how many decades now? And it's because she's not getting her social emotional needs met from you. I mean, she's not dependent on you 100% to fill those needs, but since you're supposedly a soulmate, a helpmate, a partner, a spouse, she's probably depending on a good 75% or was hoping to get a, at least good 75% of her emotional needs met from you. So what's the purpose of this video? To let you know why she complains. And she may have stopped complaining a long time ago. She may have just given up. It's like, okay, it doesn't matter. I've tried everything, nothing works. She's just gonna be disconnected. And so why try? So she may have already hit the, uh, what I call the, I'm sorry about this F-bomb. Uh, she may have already hit what I call the fuck it line, which is like, I give up. There's no hope. We're just gonna live two separate lives. This is how my life's just gonna turn out. He's never going to meet my needs. And you may have felt similarly. It's like, doesn't matter what I say or do, it's never good enough. Can never make her happy. So at some level, you've given up too. Totally understandable. But that's why she's complaining, guys, is because the relationship was and probably still is super important to her. So her mission wasn't to drive you away. Her mission was to pull you in. Um, so... That's all I want you to do with this video is just understand that she wasn't purposely trying to be critical or parental or to make you feel like a piece of shit or anything like that. She is on a scale of one to 10. She 
has to have her social uh, and emotional needs met at a level 10 in order to be happy. You, somebody who's more task-oriented in non-social things and can hyper-focus for extended periods of time on your special interest or your passion, you get your emotional needs met outside of the marriage. That's why in most cases the ASD husband is more emotionally and physically healthy He's in a better position mentally and physically than his wife because he's been getting his emotional needs met all the time over there doing his thing. So, um, now to turn this into a commercial, I do have an ASD men's group. Uh, the link will be below this video in the comment section and in the description area. To the NT wives that may be listening, I have an NT ladies only group. We use Skype. We meet one hour for four weeks. Um, I can help you. I also have a couples group where we have the ASD husband and the NT wife together. And there might be eight or nine other couples in there. So we can get a lot accomplished in those groups. Um, so anyway, link below the video. And uh, thanks for listening. And have a great day.